All right, this video is going to show you how to look at your census roster and submit census in my SDCCD. Click on your college faculty dashboard. If you go to your class and click on the course number for the class you want to submit census for, you can click on class deadlines to figure out what the actual deadline is for you to submit census. So in the case of this course, uh, it looks like my census deadline is September 3rd by noon. So if I go back, my press return to Faculty Center actually brings up this, I think, more helpful view of your classes. And you can click here to get your class roster. Uh, you can actually find the course details here, that same deadlines that we just saw. So I'm going to click on the class roster. So there's three things you can do here in terms of census. You could click no drops to report if all of your students have attended class and you want to keep them all on your roster. You could also drop a student who hasn't attended by clicking the little drop checkbox and then scrolling to the bottom and pressing save. And the third thing you can do is you can drop students who never attended your class. So if some student has not attended your class at all, you could click the never attended checkbox. You'll get this little warning message. Are you sure you want to click never attended? If you say yes, your student is going to be automatically dropped from the class. So we'll press yes. As soon as this loads, you'll see that they are dropped, and that actually submits your census roster for you. So if you have multiple students to mark as never attended, just be aware that it's going to tell you you've submitted your census roster after the first one. So you want to keep clicking and keep taking out those students who never attended. Now, if you want to check that you've submitted your census roster, there are two ways to do that. One is you'll see this no drops to report button is now grayed out. The other is if you go back to your faculty center, back to my schedule here, you'll see under census processing, it now tells me that this course is submitted. So that's two ways to check that you've finished submitting your census roster for that particular course. And then if you wanted to go submit a census roster for another course, you can just start the process all over again.